the Anglican Bishop of Kaaba Diocese in Kogi State, Right Reverend Stephen Akobe, has praised what he called a gospel standard of admitting ministers of God and ordaining priests in the Anglican Communion. According to him, it is a process that starts with identifying a definite call from God and a senior clergy monitoring and mentoring the young woman, also attending seminary and other procedures. However, he believes this process has been compromised today. He made this known when speaking with ACNN TV's Charles Philip Wakulam in Ocean State. The, the Anglican Church over, over the, the years have had you know, her own standard, and of course based on scripture of admitting people into seminary. Uh, these people must be people tested and proven, people with integrity and people with you know, serious high IQ, you know, who can undertake the training and the discipline of what it means to be a priest. Of course, first and foremost is that the person must have a definite call by God upon their lives. And so such a person must have grown within our church. And so you can actually, you know, trace the antecedents and, you know, the trajectory of their lives. The local clergyman in the, in, in the church in that parish or at Dickenry is one who will have studied this young person over time. And of course, even when he's transferred, that individual is recommended to the next pastor. And so when the person comes up to say, I have a call over my life, and the local clergyman there can attest that this person truly called. And then such a person is sent to the seminary in which he sits for an exam and he would pass. And before they even would write the exam, they must have submitted their credentials in which they have their five O-level credits. So it's not somebody who is a dropout. But today, all of these kind of standards have been compromised. Bishop Akobe pleaded with church to go back to these basics as standards in order to amend loopholes that result from these acts. Before he even gets to the seminary, he would have been employed either as a church teacher or as an agent or as a catechist. And he, the time, you know, that he takes to work in the church, to work in the vineyard. And so... With this kind of exposure, you can weed out and say, oh, this person is not qualified because you are watching them over time before they go to seminary. But what we have today is that you have some people who just from nowhere, we don't even have anything about their background. We don't have any pedigree. We have nothing to say this is who they are or who they have been over time. And they find themselves in seminary. And some of them, no bishop has signed their form. They are then in the seminary. And when they graduate, looking for where to be posted or ordained. These are the issues that we have. And so until we are able to correct this and go back to the drawing board and go back to the status quo, go back to the discipline of old, we would not have what we call competent, well-trained, efficient, relevant clergymen who can deal with the issues of the 21st century. The Anglican church or ministry is not for dropouts. It's not for people who have not been able to secure employment elsewhere. It's not for people who are looking for a meal ticket but people who are born again, genuinely born again, who have a consistent work, daily work with the Lord Jesus Christ. 